Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing a projector screen. I wanted to find it if it was worth it to get a screen versus projecting onto a painted wall. So Elite Screens was kind enough to send me a 100 inch Aeon Cinegray screen and I'm going to compare that to my gray painted wall. Stay tuned, I'm going to go over the key features. What we got here is the Elite Screens Aeon series. Um, it's a 100 inch Cinegray. And I'd gotten gray because I have lots of light control in the room. You can see I've got blackout curtains over all of the windows. What I've done too is I've put the camera recording the screen at roughly eye height as if you're sitting on the couch in behind and looking at the screen to give you a good perspective. So my projector setup is an Optoma GT1080 HDR. It's a 4K projector at uh, 4,000 ANSI lumens. It has a contrast ratio of 50,000 to 1. And it's a really short throw projector, so as you can see, it is very close to the screen. What I'll be using for an example is Balin's Root by Viva La Dirt League. So check it out. It's really an amazing movie on YouTube. Part of the testing is going to be the screen. See, you can see right now it's kind of weak because of the, the lights on and the windows open. This is not an ambient light rejecting screen, but I wanted to show you the differences just on the gray wall versus the screen, as well as in all the different lighting conditions. This Cinegray screen has a gain of 1.0 and it has a 160 degree viewing angle. But honestly, I can go pretty much to all angles and have, have no issue viewing. Not that I would be viewing from here. It has a black backing in behind the material of the screen and that eliminates the light penetration. It is active 3D, 4K, and HDR ready. Um, if, if you had a lot of ambient light or anything like that, you'd want an ALR screen, ambient light rejecting. But like I said, this basement has lots of good light control, so I went with the uh, Cinegray. And the Cinegray allows it to have uh, deeper blacks and I think it brings out the colors. It makes the colors not as, uh, not as dull. Okay, now let's do a couple of demos. For the first one, this is the way it is now. It, there's no ambient light and there's no lights on. So let's go ahead and turn some rear lights on. So this is the room lit up from behind. Let's see what it looks like with the lights right on in front. Kind of flushes it out a bit, but uh, who would be having a light on in the very front? It's just for you to see, okay? Um, now let's leave all the lights on, open the curtains so we can let all of the sunlight in. Okay, now there's all of the curtains open and the ambient light flooding in and also with the lights on. So let's go ahead and turn that front light on again. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to see with that front light. However, like I said, you're not gonna have a light on right in front of your screen normally. Um, but that's with all the ambient light flooding in. It's middle of the afternoon here, so, and it's a sunny day. Okay, now what I wanna do is take the screen off so that you can compare them. Okay, so this is on a gray painted wall. I tried to get a gray paint that was pretty similar to the screen. This is the bare wall with the curtains open, mid-afternoon, sunny day, and the lights on. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the curtains and see what we can see. Okay, now this is with the curtains closed. Okay, now let's turn off the lights. Okay, and this is what it looks like on a bare wall with no ambient light and no lights on. It definitely doesn't bring the colors out because I can see now, it's really hard to see on camera, but I can see the, uh, I can see the light and you can see it just on the wall there. What's going on here is this screen is too darn big for me to rotate and put up half the screen. So it's awkwardly positioned, but we can, what we can do is have a direct look of colors from the top and the bottom. And the top is just the gray wall and the bottom is the screen. 
Let's go ahead and shut the lights off. Now, if you look at the color difference, it brings out colors and it brings out blacker blacks. Here's the projected image on the wall close up. This is on the wall. Here's the same light conditions with the projector screen up close. Okay, so the pros. It was really easy to set up. Um, the only part I found was like tiring on your fingers was putting the Velcro on. That part was a little difficult until you get the hang of it and then, and then it was quite easy to do. But overall the setup was very easy. Um, it could be edge free if you want a more projection surface there, but I liked the edge on mine. I liked having a little a line there that distinguishes the screen. I think it's better than white for reducing ambient light reflection, even though it's not an ALR screen. I feel like it does a better trick and it doesn't wash out the picture. If you look here, there's some wicked color depth and the blacks are very black and that was always my issue with projectors is uh, the blacks were just kind of gray, kind of bothered me. But this one obviously does a good job. It's, it's the projector as well and, th and that's a decent projector. Okay, the cons. You are paying money for a product as opposed to just painting your wall, whatever the paint costs. The Cinegray is only, uh, the Cinegray is only good for rooms with good light control. Can't really think of too many other cons. Uh, honestly, it's, uh, it's more impressive looking. I would recommend getting a projector screen over a painted wall. I've been projecting on a painted wall for years and now that I finally have this screen, I've, uh, I've realized I've been missing out. <laughs> it's just much more immersive and that's what I was looking for. So I wanna thank Elite Screens for providing this awesome screen. I would highly recommend this product because I can see and feel a difference than just projecting onto a wall. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the review. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I tried not to get too technical, um, but honestly, it's an amazing product. I love it.